Hello and welcome back to my channel, On The Hook. I'm Jeannie and I'm talking about a crochet project this morning that is what I consider very beautiful to start with. And let me show you the pattern that I'm using. This is called the Caroline Cardigan Pattern from Lion Brand. You can go on Lion Brand and look it up. It's called the 96. So the picture is there of, look, I believe it's the designer of this little sweater pattern. And um, there are probably five pages of instructions, including how to lay out the pattern and all that. However, um, I really like it. I made it uh, from a kit, actually, that I ordered from Lion Brand. And they sent me the... Um, the yarn called Flicka, that's the name of the yarn. It's a 50% cotton, 50% polyester blend um, of yarn, and this is, a, this is what it looks like in the ball. Uh, I ordered the Keepsake color, which is quite beautiful. Um, it's a mixture of coral, uh, a little bit of dark brown or gray, I can't really tell, and some cream color and it turned out really nice. Now I'm going to show you this, um, how I made it. I made it by the pattern, but the sleeves are optional, so I left the sleeves off. The main reason I did that was because they sent me four balls of yarn, as it called for. That was not enough. So I ordered an extra ball of Flicka from Lion Brand, just ordered it, and it's still not enough. I knew that this amount left after I had the, after I finished the collar and everything on it, after I finished the whole sweater, that this would not make two sleeves. I just really didn't feel like I wanted to start on one and end up having to order another ball of yarn. And the option was a vest sweater, so I just made it that way. If I make it again, I will order a lot of yarn because it takes more than five skeins of Flicka to make the small size, which is the size that I made. If you are making a medium or a large or extra large, you're going to need a lot more yarn than that. Now, I'm not saying it's a, uh, a bad pattern. I really like it. It's a beginner pattern, and what it does actually let you do or teaches you to do are some extra types of stitches. For one, I don't know if you can see this, but along the side, she suggests using a crab stitch, which I've never done before. I've been crocheting for 40 years, and I've never done a crab stitch. So I tried it, and it was not hard to do, and it put a really cute edging on the side of the, the sweater. Um, the sweater is made in a square, so there is no sewing at all. For you people that don't like to sew sleeves and sides together, this is a perfect pattern for that. Okay, so... Um, I'm going to just stand up and show you this. It's made in a square. I hope you can see that. And the square has two holes, one on each side for the sleeve. And basically to make the sleeves, you just chain 24 and then join again at the other part of the row. And so you kind of leave an opening there. And the next row is just crocheted right into the chain. So it's not hard to do at all. If you're a beginner, don't worry about that. And this might be considered an advanced beginner because what I consider a beginner project would be a scarf. Um, anything more than that, you're going to have to understand crochet and understand different types of stitches. And when you read a pattern, you can um, follow the pattern. I think that's really important. Um, I actually, a little history, I started out using patterns because we didn't have YouTube. And I learned how to crochet um, by patterns. And my mother showed me how to read the pattern and all the abbreviations that are used and how to follow it, how to understand it. And that's really important because if you're going to be uh, a crocheter. So a beginner would probably do okay with a scarf. It's just straight, you know, the same stitch for the most part from one end to the other. This has, um, it's made in double crochet. All this is double crochet because the yarn is variegated. It's hard to see, but it is all done in double crochet. The collar, what she called the collar, which is a couple inches of single crochets back and forth, 
and then that crab stitch on the edge like I showed you. There's a single crochet row around the sleeve hole, which makes it a vest. And to add the sleeves, you would just connect down here at the bottom and stitch around in a circle. And you would do that all the way to the arm. I think it's to the elbow. She's got sleeves to the elbow here, which was one reason I wanted to make the pattern. But I ran out of yarn, like I said. And then around the bottom, there's no, there's no edging. It's just a straight double crochet. This is the first row, the chains and double crochet around there. I, I have to say, one thing that I don't care about the pattern, and it's just my personal preference, but there's a point right here, which is the end of the, the square that, that's made from. And then it hikes up in the back. So it's up pretty far in the back. And you can actually add rows to it. That's gonna make the front longer, but it'll make the back longer as well. And but the point will be longer. So I'm not sure, I didn't really want to do that. I didn't want to make it so long that it was just ridiculous, you know. So what I did was I just made it um, sleeveless, made a vest out of it. And I wanted to show it to you because first of all, it's a three, it's a light worsted, almost like a DK, a double knitting. So you could use any size three yarn to make it. It's not fitted and um, the only, real measurement is the sleeve honestly because this is really big across the front you could be fairly busty and wear this as you can see so the sleeve is the only thing that's really uh, sized in this pattern so um, all in all I like the pattern I think it's pretty it's um, it might even be pretty in a solid color because then you could see the stitching you can't you can't really see it on this because of the variegated um, the variegated colors in there but the colors are beautiful there's you know a coral and a kind of a pink color uh, join me next time to see what's on the hook